Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video, and today we're going to be talking about Tifa, the AC version, of course, and also Cloud, the AC version, of course. Oh boy, yeah, there's going to be some problems going on the global side. Um, and then people are going to pull in this banner, but then what are, what, what's going to happen with the current, with the next few banners? Everybody, that's kind of the same problem uh, a lot of times what global has, where JP releases a new mechanic of some kind. There could become problems because when we think, oh, nobody follows the JP side, we just, you know, just, we just, we just vote release units and stuff. And broken game XD. Um, but I don't know. I know there's a, a large majority of the game players are casual and they don't follow Reddit or YouTube or anything like that. But there are also a significant portion of people who do do those kind of things. So it's going to be kind of hard to start recommending units going to the Neo Visions era because a lot of units become useful, useless at uh, 7 star and there's a lot of Neo Vision units that will probably be in the game by the time Neo Visions comes to global and we'll kind of know who to pull for, who not to pull for, people still pull for Neo Vision Cloud but my prediction based off of a lot of things that happened in the game's history Cloud will probably be you know, one of those units that was good at release but not good in a few months from now uh, I'm sure there'll be a lot more better units in the future that'll be just better than him, honestly, just better him with, than him just being a finisher. I'm sure um, who, some some other CG unit that hasn't been released yet will be like a good chain, like CG Sephiroth, for example, will probably be a chainer, and he'll probably be the next bee's knees, and Cloud will probably be forgotten, just like the Squall that released when Sun Stars were released, um, he, was, he was pretty much forgotten. Um, in a few months, so. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the review of the units. So AC Tifa is here. Rest TMR is very unnecessary, I would say. It's just e because it doesn't really do anything. It's 80% attack with a fist, and also three of them first catch return. It's nice, but I mean, all it is is really, it's just e -ping. It doesn't give you any HP, it doesn't give you any stats, like defensive stats. So it's just average, I would say. Not really something you want to chase. <laughs> Her team R is okay. Her team R is something probably you would use anyway because it gives you 50% TDH and is an accessory. So I think her team R is something you would just stick with. So she does have water and lightning views, which is nice. <laughs> she has that option. Sorry about the sniffling. She has a lot of global buffs. She got an insane amount of global buffs. So a lot of her modifiers are a lot higher than the JP side. So in fact, she's actually going to be <coughs> a lot of one of the top damage dealers in the game now, as opposed to before. If she didn't get any buff, she'd not be anywhere near the top of the damage. So now she is, <laughs> but it does come with a catch, and we'll be getting into that. 200% TDH with her team are equipped, of course, because you want to have that equipped, um, of course. Um, so there, are, there are quite a bit of negatives, <laughs> which we'll be getting into. So our quad cast is limited selection. And in fact, I. Before I wrote that, I didn't know that it was this bad, but her limited selection is basically only locked to the moves that you get after her limit burst, and most of them are just one hit moves. One of them has three hits, and the other ones are just one hits. I thought you could use her limited selection on everything, um, and just cast one time, but no. You have to use, you basically have to use all of her unlocked moves, I guess, is, is the thing here. So you're, for one turn, you're going to be doing one hits and three hits and stuff, so... Your damage is not going to be looking too hot, but after that, you'll be able to go back to triple cast and go ahead and do a lot of damage after that. So you'll be doing a lot more damage after that. And also, her 120% perils are only you can only use them when you with that limit selection move, um, her quad cast move. So first of all, you need to unlock the limit burst to even get it, get to them. So. Otherwise, she only has 100% in perils, which are okay, I guess, but not really the bomb, you know, not the best. <laughs> and she has a kill, she has buff for killers, but only for Avion killer, 150%. Very mediocre killers, because birds are not really necessarily prevalent in this game. There, there's a, basically a handful of uh, Avian bosses in the game, and just not really something you should be focusing on, so now you have to waste killer slots to get you know, her killers up. So there's that. <laughs> for Dark Visions, I I don't know. Her limited selection is just annoying, and 
I don't know how you'd, you'd have to just ignore all of those mod buffs and things that she gets from those. Because I honestly feel like it's just a waste of time. But I feel like she just gets a B in Dark Visions. In normal meta, she gets an A. Because for the dupe, of course, she's going to be incredibly powerful. And having two elements is quite nice. <laughs> so I'd say an A in regular trial meta, B in Dark Visions. Moving on. Let's move on to the main attraction. Everybody wants to know about this guy. CGAC Cloud. His team R is very good. <laughs> when they, oh, I don't know. If I put sword. It's a great sword. Sorry. It's a. It's a great sword. Don't don't be tricked by what I wrote there. It's a it's a great sword. I know there's gonna be like three comments saying I thought it was I thought it was a one handed great sword. I guarantee you, if someone will not watch this part of the video, they'll just. See that right there, and they'll click pause, and they'll type in the comment section that right now follow through. So, it's a great sword. My bad. But it has a lot of attack, 190 attack. Also, 50% limit burst damage, which was quite a lot. Unless the unless that got changed. I just, I based this off of the JP information because Global didn't say he was getting buffed, so. There is a small nerf, but not with this kit, but we'll be getting to that, and I'm really sad about it. So, unlike what a lot of people don't really understand, is that his limit burst actually does chain with a dupe, and that is one of his main strengths. So, you can chain his limit burst together just as a dupe, and you'll do a lot of damage. People just don't seem to understand that, yeah, sure, his limit burst is a finishing move, but you can also chain with it, and it does a lot of damage too. People just don't really seem to understand that, like, people, it just, it just goes over people's heads. You guys have no idea how many times I've seen people just say, Oh, Cloud is just a finisher. Bruh. Really. So, <laughs> sure you can use him as a, as a solo finisher, and we'll be getting into why you can do that too, but I've used his own first chaining, and it's just fine. It's 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 good damage. Um, he does have Earth and Light and Views, which are nice. Um, a variety of the spectrum there. Great finisher for Dark Visions, because he can... Equip an element that you need uh, for that because he's true to wield, so you'd equip, you know, <laughs> one, in one hand, at least one hand, some kind of, you know, sword or great sword that he can use at the element that you need. That's quite nice. His own first could be used on turn one or turn two based on what you need for Dark Visions as well because uh, I've used him for many months, so I have a lot of experience using him for Dark Visions. Um, very nice uh, for finishing that. In that situation, he does have human and machine killer, which is machines are not nearly as prevalent, but still prevalent enough. And human, of course, is the most one of the most prevalent ones, so human killer is really necessary, I would say. And 150 percent true to wield, so that's quite nice. All you need is 50 percent more. So no six times cap. His ground chaining is something that to be desired, but. Six times cap doesn't work for loom bursts, so he doesn't need. He didn't need the six times cap, unlike a lot of people are already seeing on Reddit. Saying, oh, he doesn't have six times cap. He's garbage. Doesn't need it. Doesn't need it for his loom burst. His loom burst is still super strong. Now the biggest negative that I can't really, you know, say much about is, I mean, it's 80 percent in peril is terrible. 80 percent in peril is only. I said that on the I'm JP review. 80 percent in peril is really. Those are pretty bad. Hopefully you'll have someone that can get, you know, higher in perils for your for your cloud. Um, hopefully. <laughs> and on top of that, on global, this team art is not stackable. That is a huge blow to a lot of my builds. Because on the JB side, I use this like candy. I put this on everybody. Uh, all a lot of damage dealers are using his team art in, in multiples. So only being able to use one is really painful. Gonna have to be a little more, more creative about builds and things, but it's kind of annoying that it's not stackable. Or it's it's stacked to only one, so that really really hurts in the in the long run of things. In the future, uh, a lot of builds like CG Squall, for example, would have liked to have had multiples of these on the JB side. That's how you built him, and I'm gonna have to figure out a different way. Maybe use regular CG Squall's STMR or something if I have it. Otherwise, it's just kind of uh, that hurts. Anyways, so you want to use Fender Full Throttle and Earth or Light Imbue. Not both. Don't get confused. Don't use both. You can't use both anyways in the, same, in the first turn. 
And if you're able to, if you have support, you can use your lump brush right away, or you're just to uh, triple cast with the chaining. And on turn three, you should for sure be able to do lump burst. Um, turn four, <laughs> that lump burst damage uh, cooldown cherry blossom also imbue again because it's going to wear out soon. And then chain for a little bit of the lump burst crystals. And turn five, you lose the lump burst again. But he's very straightforward. Um, just keep that lump burst damage up. Keep those cooldowns. Um, on cooldown because you want to use them and maybe you'll have someone who can earth in peril or light in peril for a lot more than what he can do because then his damage will increase even more all right guys i think we're about done here um i know i i, I summarized everything but this is kind of what i do now right i i summarize both of the units the, most of the important most of the important stuff is what you need to know there might be some caveats of things that are also something you might want to known but I didn't go over so if you are in that kind of situation where you're like hey I need to know about this situation that I he didn't talk about can you pl please tell me uh, go ahead and write that in the comment section down below if you watch all the way through type in uh, AC cloud hashtag AC cloud will be the keyword for the ending of this video go watch all the way through make sure to subscribe if you are not subscribed make sure to hit that notification bell because it is Despite what everybody said, it's not a meme, guys. It really does help if you hit that notification bell. It's a gray bell on the side of when it, when, you, when it says subscribed. There'll be a gray bell that you can click on. Please click on that so you will not miss out on any of my videos because sometimes it doesn't show up for people. Um, it's not a meme. I know everybody says it, but it's not a meme. It's really, really helpful. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope this guys helped you out. Hope this helped you out. Um, all my information is down in the video description. I'll be streaming live on my Twitch channel at 6 o'clock p.m. EST for Cloud Pools. I'm sure no one's really watching at this point, but yeah. I should have announced at the beginning of the, of the video, so whoops. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing Cloud Pools now, uh, probably not a lot, a lot amount. Depends on what I can do, but yeah, there'll be some Cloud Pools. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you went all the way through to this part, I appreciate you. I love you. And we're almost to 1.5k subs. Appreciate ya. Love ya. Peace.